Hey guys, my name is Marlo with Vegas Mini Mansion. Welcome to my channel. We're gonna talk about your shop vac and why the suction is getting weak and it's not working properly. So I know my shop vac saves my life every single time. I primarily use it for picking up leaves in the backyard and then cleaning my vehicle and also cleaning stains around the house. So let's talk about getting your shop vac back to work. And I'm, we're gonna talk about the issues and why it's not working properly. So we're gonna start from the outside in. So we're gonna make this video nice and quick, guys. So let's go. All right, guys, so we're gonna talk about this rigid shop back here. And we're gonna talk about what are the problems, why you have poor suction. So I remember when I loaned out my shop back for the first time and the person who returned it, what they did was uh, they took off this drain cap, right? And I didn't notice it, that it was off. And uh, I turned it on and uh, there was no suction. It, it took me a few minutes to find out the cap was missing. So if the cap is missing, you're gonna have poor suction, okay? All right, so we're gonna talk about the top of this here. If this is not on properly and it's not nice, on there nice and flush with the latches on, properly on the top so you forgot to put latch this side the suction's not going to work properly it's got to be airtight guys all right so we're going to go inside all right oh one thing i want to talk about so come right over here to pick up leaves right so a lot of times I find that when I'm picking up leaves, a lot gets caught in this little chamber here and also here. So whatever you're trying to vacuum, you may not be getting suction because everything's trapped inside here. So what you can do is take a broomstick and uh, stick the broomstick down the hose to get down whatever's caught inside the hose. Okay guys, all right, so now we're gonna go on the inside of the vacuum so right here as you all know here is a filter and what i have if you just have a paper filter you need to change it to a foam one and the foam one is the best one you can have i know the foam ones don't usually come with the shop back but you need to get one and this is a little hack that you should know so you don't have to keep on buying filters you use this here they use it for pool filters I'll put it down in the description they're real cheap and what this does is it blocks the filter from getting as dirty right and it keeps all the filth pretty much out and when it get, does get dirty it can be easily clean and keeps the airflow to where the suction stays stronger longer does that make sense all right the other reason why you you have poor suction is this filter when you bang it around right see it's on nice and tight right but when you're banging it around it comes loose right it becomes loose and then debris gets caught in this filter cage right so i like to pick up leaves so when this becomes loose and it's not on flush and you know it's on flush because you'll see the little nipple go on the bottom okay look for that and what happens is little debris gets caught in here and leaves and debris gets caught in here and this filters here to protect the power right so you gotta get all this debris out of here and just simply put on your filter and you're back to business. So that's the reason why you're having poor suction. All right. All right guys, so another reason why you're having poor suction, whatever you're sucking up, right? So here's a bunch of leaves and rocks that I vacuumed. You cannot wait to whatever you're picking up till this gets full. What I like to do right when it gets around there, just below half, I empty out all contents. Because if it gets too high, 
right? There's not enough airflow for it to pick up and have maximum uh, suction power. So empty it out when it gets halfway. So guys, your shop vac is not broken. I gave you all the reason why you have poor suction, but just to give you another idea, uh, your paper filter, you have to clean it. So it's very dirty. You have to clean it. So what you can do is you can vacuum the filter. You can actually take this off and it's still gonna uh, vacuum and just vacuum the little crevices and make it nice and clean and you can blow it as well. Or you can use your home vacuum as well vacuum the whole filter but i highly suggest you get a foam filter and then one of these shams here and i'll show you below in the description guys so thank you for following my channel my channel is all about helping people within their home check out my other videos i got some good stuff for you guys see you guys later bye